Hello Brighties! In this video, we will visualize percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers using models. Percent means, per hundred, or for every 100. It is the ratio of a given number to 100. We will use the symbol to represent percent. Let's start with an example. Ben, a supply officer of a company, purchased 100 sets of office supplies composed of pens, bond papers, clips, and markers. He gave a set of the materials to each of his 83 co-workers. From the model, the entire grid represents all the 100 sets of office supplies perched by Ben and shaded portion represents the 83 sets of materials distributed to his co-workers. 83 out of 100 can be written in four ways. First, as a fraction, 83 over 100. As a ratio, 83 is to 100. As a decimal, 0.83. And as a percent, 83%. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have an exercise first. I will give you 30 seconds to answer each question. Let's start. Anna helped her mother sell vegetables in the market. In the afternoon, she counted the remaining vegetables. It will be shown in the illustration below. Here are the questions. 1. What percent of the vegetables is eggplant? A. 23%. B. 27%. C. 28%. D. 2. What percent of the vegetables is cabbage? A. 27% B. 32% C. 20% D. 22% Three, what person represents carrots? A, 18%, B, 23%, C, 28%, D, 25%. Four. How about the bell peppers? A. 33% B. 20% C. 27% D. 22% Five. Which vegetable is 23%? A. Eggplant B. Cabbage C. Pepper D. Carrots
Great job! How many correct answers did you get? Comment down below. Now, I will teach you how to change a percent to fraction, a fraction to percent, a percent to decimal, a decimal to percent, a percent to ratio, and a ratio to percent. Changing percent to fraction. To change a percent to fraction, write the equivalent as a fraction with a denominator of 100. Then, express the fraction in simplest form, if necessary. We will use the formula, n equals n over 100. Here are some examples. In number 1, the value is 75%. To change it to fraction, erase the percent symbol and change it with the slash and 100 as the denominator. The answer for number 1 is 3 fourths. Why? Because both the numerator and denominator can be divided into lowest values where it is simplified. I will show you the solving equation. Here, the numerator and denominator is divisible by 25. 25 is the highest number that can lead to lowest or simplified form of 75 over 100. This is same with the other examples. Let's practice. Just pause the video if you need more time. Time's up. Here are the correct answers. Next, changing fraction to percent. There are two ways to change a fraction to percent. The first and easy way is, multiply the fraction by 100%. Remember that 100% is the same as 100 one hundredths or 1. Always put the percent sign to your answer. Examples. Here, the fractions are multiplied to 100%. When multiplying a whole number to a fraction, we will use 1 as the denominator. That is why the first denominator and the denominator in the final answer are the same. 7 over 10 is multiplied to 100%. The sum will be 700% over 10. Then, 700% is divided by 10, which results to final answer of 70%. The second way is, if the denominator of the given fraction is a factor of 100, multiply the fraction with a number equivalent to 1 that will make the denominator 100. Always put the sign to your answer. Examples. In the examples, all the denominators is a factor of 100 or all denominators can be multiplied to another number that results to 100. In number 1, the denominator is 5. 5 can be multiplied to 20 to have a product 100. The same with example number 2 and 3, where the given denominator is multiplied to the fraction with a number that will make the denominator 100. Let's practice. You can pause the video if needed. Solve it using both the first way and the second way. Time's up. Here are the correct answers. Changing percent to decimal. To change a percent to decimal write it as a fraction with denominator 100. Then write the equivalent decimal. The formula used is same with the percent to fraction. n equals n over 100 and express n up to two decimal places. Here are some examples. Remember that 121 hundredths and 1.2 are both up to the hundredths place. Likewise, 47 one hundredths and 0 0.47 are both read as 47 hundredths. Same goes with 5 one hundredths or 0 0.05. Tip. To change a percent to decimal as shortcut procedure, simply move the decimal point to places to the left. Put 0 before the decimal point if necessary, then remove the percent sign. Now let's try. You can pause the video if needed.
Time's up. Here are the answers. Next, changing decimal to percent. This also has two ways to change a decimal to percent. First, write the decimal as a fraction with 100 as denominator and write the equivalent in percent. Examples. On the first example when the decimal is written into fraction it is 2 over 10. Why is the denominator 10? It is because when it is in the decimal form 2 is in the 10th place and it is then changed into the denominator of 100. The example number 2 and 3 have the denominator 100 when written into fraction because when they are in decimal form they are in the hundredth place. Another way to change decimal to percent is to move the decimal point to places to the right. Remove the zero as the first number, if necessary, then put percent sign. Examples Changing percent to ratio. To change a percent to ratio write the percent in fraction form and then in ratio. Remove the percent sign and then express the ratio in simplest form if necessary. Example. Changing ratio to percent. To change a ratio to percent, write the ratio in fraction form. Determine the equivalent ratio where the second terms is 100. Then, express it as a percent. Do not forget to put the sign. Here are examples. When transformed to fraction form both the numerator and denominator will then be multiplied to a number that will turn the denominator to 100. In example number 1, the denominator is 10. So both numerator and denominator are multiplied by 10 to have a denominator of 100. Same with example number 2 with denominator of 25 is multiplied by 4 to have 100 as denominator. That will be all for this discussion. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also leave a comment.